Hey guys, it's Gus Fraser with Gus Fraser's Predator Hops. I've rebranded myself. I got a new name for my channel, my YouTube channel. Uh, but this will be an update on my Champsochromus Ceruleus. I guess this is part five, if you will. Um, so he's doing great. He's, uh, uh, I guess, coming up on 10 months since I purchased him as a juvenile, as a four and a half inch juvenile. Um, it's probably pushing nine, nine and a half inches, 10 inches um, in, in that time frame. So he's gone from four and a half inches to probably close to 10 inches, maybe, maybe a little less than 10 inches. Um, doesn't look as big uh, as before, maybe because I've got this guy in the tank, the, Bucochromus uh, rhodosai. He's uh, my largest fish in my tank now. Uh, also added a Nimbochromus fuscotaneatus, the fusco. He's one of the bigger guys in this tank as well too, but the trout certainly holds uh, his own weight and definitely he's maybe the longest, uh, but certainly doesn't have the girth as the Bucochromus. Uh, it's been awesome having this guy in my tank. Uh, blues are coming in really nicely. The fins are massively long. That anal fin is long. That dorsal fin is long. Um, temperament is good. He sometimes flares up to try to mate with uh, one of the other males um, and darkens up. But uh, this is generally what he looks like and appears, uh, his appearances, as he's just kind of cruising around the tank. I am feeding them a couple of times a day. Uh, I don't feed on Sundays and there are Saturdays when I don't feed as well just because I am doing quite heavy uh, heavy feedings at uh, two a day and I've noticed since I've done that he's put on some put on some size uh, but that's pretty much it tanks really evolved over the last um, 10 months as well uh, I've got uh, like I said the Fusco the Bucochromus rhodosai uh, my Exochromus Enogenius, which is back there in the corner. He's starting to put on a bit of size. He's taken forever to put on size. Uh, but you see his egg spots are coming in nice now. And he's starting to get a bit bigger. I want to say maybe he's four and a half, five inches. Uh, but, but holy smokes, those fish take forever, at least in my experience, to, uh, to put on size. Can't wait till he gets a bit of blue in his face. Um, that... Side of Chromus Friar is one of my originals. Um, my Jalo Reef is put on nice size. My first cichlid that I purchased was this OB Peacock from a local fish store here in uh, Oakville, Mississauga, Ontario area. He was a tiny little juvenile. He's put on some, some massive size and has turned those nice colors, mostly orange, but a bit of blue. Uh, that is my Super VC-10. He's flared up because he's trying to mate with that female Venustus. That female Venustus I bought as like a one and a half inch juvenile about 10 months ago. I thought it was a male. Uh, I sold it uh, as a male, but it was actually a female. He chases after, my Super VC-10 chases after her most of the time. As you can see right now, can't even keep up with it. Uh, I've got the Blue Dolphin. I believe that's a male. He's doing okay. That's a Eureka Red. There's the Jalo Reef again. There is my pain in the butt, but he's been chilled lately because I had him, had him removed for quite a while. Uh, that's my pain in the butt. Malawi Eye Blider, Dimidia Chromis Compressiceps. Insignius or Tanzania. He's doing okay, but he's got a bit of fungus on his back uh, towards the back of his dorsal fin, as you can see there. Uh, so this is just sort of an update on the trout and also my tank uh, in total. I'm going to be adding some more fish. I actually bought a Malawi hawk that I've taken out and he's in quarantine right now because he's got a bit of a problem uh, with, his, with his nose. So he's out. But yeah, really loving this hobby. Tanks changed a lot in the last 10 months. And fish have grown. I've learned a ton. And that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, maybe throw a like if you don't mind. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. But yeah, that's my 
Champsochromus ceruleus, part five. Here he comes across the tank. Let's get a close up of him. So if we go back to part one of my series, you'll notice obviously the massive difference. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.